Salam sejahtera. Today, teacher will teach a topic about subtraction of fractions. You can refer your textbook part 1, page 93, 94, and 95. Question number 1. 2 over 3 minus 1 over 3. As we can see, the denominator is same. So, we can minus this number, numerator. 2 minus 1 equal 1 over 3. Okay, the denominator is still the same, 3. Nombor bahagian bawah ini kita tidak payah tolak, masih kekal 3. So, 1 over 3 is the answer. Question number 2. Subtract 3 over 8 from 7 over 8. Kita akan tolak 3 per 8 daripada 7 per 8. As we can see, the denominator is same. So, we can minus this number, numerator. 7 minus 3 equal 4 over f. Okay. 4 over f is the answer. But 4 over 8, we can write in simplest form. What time table have 4 and 8 in the answer? Yes, in 2 times table and 4 times table. Two times table, 2 times 2 equal 4. 2 times 4 equal 8. 4 times table, 4 times 1 equal 4. 4 times 2 equal 8. Okay, so which times table we must choose? We must choose the large times table. So, times table 4. This means 4 over 8, we will divide with 4 times table. So, the answer is 1 over 2. Question number 3. What is the difference between 4 over 7 and 6 over 7? Okay. Different mean minus. We will minus the larger fraction with smaller fraction. Okay, as we can see, the denominator is same. So, we can minus this number, numerator. 6 minus 4 equal 2 over 7. So, this is the answer. Question number 4. 1 over 2 minus 1 over 4. As we can see, the denominator is different. So, we must change this denominator become same number, then we minus. Okay, between number 2 and number 4, which number is smaller? 
Antara nombor 2 dengan nombor 4, mana nombor yang nilai dia kecil? Yes, number 2. This mean number 2 we will change become number 4 like this denominator. Okay, let's we look two times table. Okay. In two times table, there are number 4 in the answer. So this mean this number 2 we will times with 2 to become 4. Two, we will times with two to become four. Okay. Sekiranya nombor bahagian bawah didarab dengan dua, nombor bahagian atas pun kena darab dengan dua. Okay. One over four kita tulis semula. One times two equal two. Two times two equal four. One over four kita tulis semula. Okay. As we can see, now the denominator is same. So, this mean we can minus this number numerator. 2 minus 1 equal 1 over 4. So, this is the answer. Question number 5. 1 over 4 minus 1 over 8. Okay, as we can see... The denominator is different. So, we must change this denominator become same number, then we minus. Okay. Between number 4 and number 8, which number is smaller? Yes, number 4. This means number 4, we will change become number 8 like this denominator. Okay, let's we look. 4 times table. Okay. In 4 times table, there are number 8 in the answer. So, this mean number 4, we will times with 2 to become number 8. Okay. Four will times with two to become eight. Okay. Sekiranya, sekiranya nombor bahagian bawah kita darab dengan dua, nombor bahagian atas pun kita darab dengan dua. One over eight kita tulis semula. One times two equal two. Four times two equal eight. Okay, one over eight kita tulis semula. As we can see, now the denominator is same. So this means we can minus this a number numerator 2 minus 1 equal 1 over 8 so this is the answer question number 6 5 over 6 minus 1 over 3 as we can see the denominator is different so we must change this denominator become same number, then we minus. Okay. Between number 6 and number 3, 
which number is smaller? Yes, number three. So this means number three, we will change become number six like this denominator. Okay, let's we look three timetable. Okay, in three timetable, there are number six in the answer. So this mean number three, we will times with two to become number six. Okay. Five over six, kita tulis semula. Three, we will times with two to become six. Okay. Sekiranya nombor bahagian bawah kita darab dengan dua, nombor bahagian atas pun kita darab dengan dua. Five over six, kita tulis semula. One times two equal two. Three times two equal six. As we can see, now the denominator is same. So this means we can minus this number, numerator. 5 minus 2 equal 3 over 6. Okay. 3 over 6 is the answer. But 3 over 6, we can write in simplest form. Bentuk termuda. Okay. In... 3 times table, there are 3 and 6 in the answer. 3 times 1 equal 3. 3 times 2 equal 6. So this means 3 over 6, we will divide with 3 times table. So the answer is 1 over 2. Question number 7. 7 over 10 minus 1 over 2. As we can see, the denominator is different. So we must change this denominator become same number then we minus. Okay. Between number 10 and number 2, which number is smaller? Yes, number 2. So, this means number 2, we will change, become number 10 like this denominator. Okay, let's we look to timetable. In two times table, there are number 10... In the answer so this mean this number 2 we will times with 5 to become number 10 okay 7 over 10 kita tulis semula Two, we will times with five to become ten. Sekiranya nombor bahagian bawah kita darab dengan lima, nombor bahagian atas pun kita darab dengan lima. Six 
7 over 10 kita tulis semula. One times five equal five. Two times five equal ten. Now, as we can see, the denominator is same. So this means we can minus this number numerator seven. Minus 5 equal 2 over 10. Okay. 2 over 10 is the answer. But we can write 2 over 10 in simplest form. Bentuk termuda. Okay. In 2 times table, there are 2 and 10 in the answer. 2 times 1 equal 2. 2 times 5 equal 10. Okay. This means 2 over 10, we will divide with 2 time table. So the answer 1 over 5. Question number F. 9 over 10 minus blank box equal 3 over 10. Okay. For this question, we will find what is the fraction in this blank box. Di sini murid-murid kena ingat, sekiranya Kotak berada di tengah-tengah, kita kena tolak. Numerator 9 dan 3. Okey. 9 minus 3 equal 6. So, this mean the fraction in the blank box is 6 over 10. So, this is the answer. Question number 9. Blank box minus 2 over 5 equal 2 over 5. For this question, we will find what is the fraction in this blank box. Okay. Di sini murid-murid kena ingat, sekiranya kotak Ini berada di bahagian hadapan. Maksudnya kita kena tambah numerator 2 dan 2. Okey. 2 add 2 equal 4. So this mean the fraction in the blank box is 4 over 5. So, this is the answer. That's all for today. So, see you in the next lesson. Thank you. Bye.